Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve problem 228 from Vector Mechanics by Bear and Johnston. And the problem says that member BD exerts on member ABC a force P directed along line BD. So this BD member is applying the force on this AB member along this BD line like this. And it is said that knowing that P must have 240 pound vertical component. So the P force vertical component magnitude is given which is 240 pounds. So we are required to determine the magnitude of the force P and its horizontal component. So now let's show that uh, force P here. Let's say this is my force P acting at along this BD line. This is that force P and its magnitude is required. And we are given the uh, magnitude of the vertical component. So the vertical component of this force P must be acting in the upward direction. And let's say this is P vertical and its magnitude is 240 pounds. And the magnitude of the horizontal component is also required. So this is the horizontal component. Now, as we know that uh, we are given this angle, we are given this 40 degree angle with the horizontal and is the horizontal component is adjacent with the angle. So the horizontal component is the cos component. And if the horizontal component is the cos component and the vertical component is not adjacent to this angle. So this one is the sine component. So we can say that PV, the vertical component is the sine component of force P. So we'll write P sine of angle, angle is 40 degrees and the vertical component magnitude is given which is 240 pounds. So dividing both sides of the equation by sine of 40 will give us the magnitude of that force P which is acting on AC member, uh, on ABC member along BD. So 240 divided by sine of 40, this will give us the force P magnitude. So this is 373.3 pounds approximately. And now we know that the horizontal component is adjacent to the angle. And so this will be the cos component and this will be P cos of 40 degrees. And now P magnitude is known that is 373.3 cos of 40. So we can say that answer cos of 40. So this gives me 286. So the horizontal component is approximately 286 pounds. So this is the solution to part A and this is the solution to part B. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the guy wire BD exerts on the telephone pole AC a force P directed along BD. So this wire is applying the force on this uh, pole along uh, BD, a force like this, and whose magnitude is P. And it is said that knowing that P must have 720 Newton component perpendicular to the pole. So we are given the perpendicular component of that force P to this pole. So this component is perpendicular to the pole. So its magnitude is given, that is 720 Newton. It is said that determine the magnitude of that force P and its component along line AC. So now we are given uh, force P like this. This is force P and we are given the magnitude of the component which is perpendicular to the pole. So this is let's say P perpendicular to the pole. It is making 90 degree with the pole and its magnitude is 720. Newton. So we are required to find the magnitude of the component which is along this pole. So let's say that we can say that this is P parallel. This is parallel to the pole axis. And we are required to find the magnitude of this force P as well. So now as we can see that um, let's say if we Assume that uh, this P force is making some angle theta here. 
then p parallel will be the cos component since uh, this this component is adjacent to this theta and the this p perpendicular will be the sine component so now let's say that p perpendicular is p sine of that angle now the this theta is given in terms of the dimensions so we are given this um, point b is at a height of 7 meters from the ground and this point d is at a distance of 2.4 meters from the base of the pole so we are given these two dimensions so now considering this um, this b c d this is a right angle triangle like this so we can find the sine of theta using that right angle triangle so sine of theta from that right angle triangle will be the perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse so now we can say that sine of theta is the perpendicular so the perpendicular is this length so the perpendicular is uh, 2.4 divided by the hypotenuse so the hypotenuse is the length of the wire which is bd length so we can find this bd length using uh, this right angle triangle and using the pythagoras theorem so we can say that bd square is equal to 2.4 square plus 7 square under the square root so that will give us bd so now bd is 2.4 square plus 7 square so this gives us 7.4 meters so 7.4 meters so now we can say that from this right angle triangle from this right angle triangle this sine of theta is the perpendicular divided by the length of the wire that is the hypotenuse so now the sine of theta is 2.4 we can say that um, p perpendicular is p and sine of theta is uh, 2.4 divided by bd length which is 7.4 so this is that sine of theta 2.4 divided by bd length and the magnitude of the p perpendicular is given which is 720 newtons so now we can cross multiply and we can say that p magnitude is 720 multiplied by 7.4 divided by 2.4 so 720 multiply by 7.4 divided by 2.4 so p magnitude is 2220 newton so this is the solution to part a similarly uh, for we, we need to find the magnitude of this uh, component which is parallel to the axis of the pole so we will say that p parallel and since p parallel is uh, adjacent to this angle so this will be the cos component so we can say that p parallel is p cos of theta and again uh, from b c d this right angle triangle we can say that cos of theta is the base divided by hypotenuse so now the base is seven meters the p magnitude is 2220 multiplied by the base which is 70 uh, 7 meters divided by bd length which is 7.4 so this answer multiplied by 7 divided by 7.4 and this gives me 2100 so 2100 newton is the component of that force p which is parallel to the axis of the pole and this is the solution of part b so this is the solution of this problem i hope it will help you in your learning do like this video and subscribe engineers academy if this helps in your learning